YouTube, how we doing? Scove back here with Scove's Big Hits. Uh, just got back from the National literally about 10 seconds ago. Just walked in the house and realized I haven't made a recap of any of my stuff yet. I've only showed you guys uh, the one Keston I bought, uh, the Minor League Edition. Uh, also the box of certified I ripped in my last one. Um, but I haven't showed you guys any of my, my, my big time finds. Um, I'm probably going to show about half in this video because I don't want to make it too long because I'm not going to lie, I did have a great week at the National. Uh, not only with the pickups I have, but being able to meet a lot of you guys uh, in the community. I know I really appreciate it. Uh, Eloy, if you guys don't follow the GOAT, obviously you should be. Uh, he set up a real nice break for us. Uh, got to meet Guns, got to meet pretty much everybody. Uh, get to meet a couple new guys. Filmington I met too. A lot of great um, channels out here that uh, it's really nice to put a face with the voice that you hear um, when they get to do their breaks and videos and such. So, um, First one, I'm going to start off with a bang here. This one was actually my first ever uh, graded card I've done on my own. Um, it is a PC card. I was thinking about trading it for a little bit, but um, just to get a Trout Auto, but this baby came back with a 10-10 purple Keston. First one in just 9-5, I think it's on the corners here, yeah. So really nice card, probably my top Keston card by far. Uh, I did pick up a few other of his Bowman's Best, but I'll save that for another video. Um, so this one is really high up there on my Brewer PC list. Um, and I I really had, I put it on Instagram and I literally had no words for for anything. I had no no idea what was going on, obviously. It's my first time grading, but my hands were shaking because when it comes back at 10, that was not what I was expecting on the first one. Um, so yeah, that's my first one here. Let me see if we can throw it up here in the back. But yeah, it was, uh, it was an amazing start. That was a start to the week. I obviously put it in right away to get graded so I could get it back right away. This is actually the last card I ended up picking up. This was on uh, uh, today, actually, this afternoon, or this morning when I went in. I found this one. My boy Bryce Terang had to get myself a Bowman first of his. Um, like you guys know, I kind of know Bryce a little bit. Um, and it was really cool to be able to grab one of his cards and put it in here into my collection. Let me see if I have my other one here with me. Oh, I'll save that one there. But uh, yeah, I was very, very happy to finally get a Bowman first and then get some color too, because that's really where the money is. And obviously I'm not gonna be moving this one for a while, but still really nice to get a, a blue one and get some color in this one. So we'll put that one next to the Keston. So those two, obviously great cards, big PC cards, very happy with them. If I save the biggest one for last, at least personally, obviously this one's probably worth more, the Keston, but I have a few things on a uh, bucket list that I want. Obviously it's a Trout Auto, it's a Rogers Auto. Um, for baseball, it's obviously getting some nice Bowman first and stuff, but this is one of my personal bucket list cards since I've seen it come out at the last National and it was super expensive. This one I got to trade a little bit for but it is a Bowman first Alex Bregman 2016 Chrome. Uh, you guys know Bregman's one of my top dudes. He's like my favorite guy. Um, Non-brewer obviously, but to get one of these, it, it took a lot. Uh, I didn't bring as much money as I should have to the National, but I was able to trade a little bit and I only ended up spending like $10 cash on this card, um, plus a, quite a bit of trade. Sorry Eli, I moved the Barry Sanders for this one, so. This one is high up there on my list, really high up there to actually get uh, Bowman first of one of my favorite players. Um, it's pretty cool to see too, just to kind of, because when I started collecting, I never thought I'd be able to get up to this high of cards, you know, and this high of stuff. Um, so when you actually get to hold on to one and actually get one after, I mean, you kind of got to grind through it to get to move your way up on the, to make save money move cards, stuff like that. Um, it's just kind of cool to see it all come in and make it into one of those cards that you always wanted. 
So yeah, those were pretty good. I just want to throw in this one too. It's a Turing out of 10. These, I threw those together. Um, so yeah, the two Turangs. Alex Bregman 2016 Chrome. And the most expensive card probably in my collection right now, the 1010 Kesson Hira. Out of 250. So just thought I'd do a little recap for you guys. I didn't want to make this video too long, so I have quite a few other cards that I got from the weekend, but um, I'll save that for later. Just like to say a shout out to all you guys that I got to meet this weekend. Uh, you guys are all real cool dudes, and it was kind of cool to to actually put a face with you guys. And yeah, like again, I would like to give us another shout out for Eloy because I know doing that break, it ended up being close to one o'clock. We ended up leaving. Um, and I know that's a lot of work to put through, especially when you're doing it live. So appreciate that. Appreciate all you guys and happy that I got to meet a lot of my fellow YouTubers. So you guys have a good one. Peace out from Skulls Big Hits.